basket winner coming in. Coming in, coming in, please. Well done, well done. Yeah. That's some royal basket winner right there. Desert hero. Well, it's great for the yard, great for his majesty. You know, we put our spirits up and made the week really. Yeah, he's been good since. Luke rides him every day and he's been very happy with him. Just the one can. He'll have an easy week there. I'm Luke Carson, uh, I ride for William Haggis, uh, lucky enough to ride this fella, Desert Hero. He can be cheeky. Look, this year he seems to have grown up so much. The boss and Maureen have done an amazing job with him. Ahead of Ascot, didn't really know what to think. I was quietly confident. He showed all signs that he was he was just thriving in his work. It was just amazing. Tom Tom's gave it the best ride. Yeah, screaming at the TV, lost my voice a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't be there. But to have to have a winner at Royal Ascot is just it's unbelievable. But Royal Ascot runners are special as they are, but to have the first ever first ever winner at Royal Ascot for the King and Queen is it's unbelievable. Hi, I'm Jack Abbey. I led up Desert Hero at Royal Ascot. It was a great feeling to actually be able to go into that winner's enclosure, especially more the so that it's for the King and Queen, their first winner as well. It made it even more special. Uh, we had to lead him past the Royal Box, so it was a great feeling. But he actually had a little chat with me, and Queen had a little chat, and all the Princess Anne and her daughter. It's just surreal, really. To be part of this history is just like I say, it's amazing. I mean, there's, there's not going to be much that tops this ever, is there? 